Hey everybody and welcome to another Learn to Digitize video. My name is Sue and I'm a Hatch educator and today we're going to talk about lettering again. I know there's so much with lettering. I love it. I absolutely love it. The more you know, the better work you can do. So today we're going to talk about putting accents on lettering. So let's go to our lettering monogramming let's do some lettering and everything should pop up and we're going to type a french word which means stop and let's make this a little bit bigger so we can see it really well and let's make it a groovy color so the french word for stop and there's no is there an e on the end yeah i think there's an e on the end at it so what we need to do this um word has an accent on it and there's a quick and easy way to do it the first thing i want to do is select on it i want to go back here and then i want to go to insert character now not all of the fonts will have this but it's really easy to do for the fonts that you do check which fonts you're using and uh, not all of them will have it, but some should have. Now, what you have is a whole bunch of different accents for different languages. That's German, that, you know, different letter groupings, that sort of thing. And you have capitals and then you have lowercase. And what we want is the lowercase e. So you simply click on that. And if you noticed, I took out the e before and I left a space now it's going to put it directly in just like that and that is how you do uh, accents if we're going to make it up let's do backspace let's do insert character I don't believe it has an e on it but there you go uh, we're going to do it anyways just for fun let's go to this accent and you click ok and it actually shows up here which is really really cool now what would happen if you wanted to change the font and that font did not have the proper accents the proper um, in extra characters because some fonts can have a lot of them so let's pick one um i'm gonna look for one cattle I, I may not have it on this computer there i do right here this is what happens you get these squares and all that means is that it doesn't have the same special character however we can really easily fix it the first thing we need to do is take that out and put a regular e and let's just take that off um, the end now we still need the accent there because you know although it's okay to do it this way it's even better to do the accent and you can do it quickly and easily in hatch um, just by going to digitize and we're going to do digitize open shape and we're going to make this a satin stitch because our letters are in stat satin and you just want to kind of guesstimate at the size because you don't want it huge because that's not how it looked before and you could even you know do it again and compare a size that's not even quite right why don't we do the compare thing let's do this and let's right click bring it down let's go back to our block font so we just basically get to do it again so i can see what i'm doing and make this look really good and let's go here and let's go to insert character let's search for that lowercase e there we go in french school we used to call it a hat so there we go and now we see the approximate size and this is how i would do it just to you know get it as close as possible now if we look at this font it has a little slant so we want to we want to kind of add that in there and i'm going to show you one quick trick that's going to make it look really good and let's go to there and let's put it on top of the e where it's supposed to be we can now delete get rid of that and um actually i'm going to undo that because i wanted to show you that the because it's part of the lettering the accent now acts like a, a normal letter the e with the accent so you can make it bigger and you can make it smaller and it will adjust itself just like the letters do all right so now we're done with that 
and we're going to go to this one. Let's change it to the same color just so it looks better. Not too fussed with that because it doesn't, this is thick and thin. It doesn't really go with the font and it just kind of looks like you plunked it down there. I'm going to click on calligraphy and I'm going to go to reshape and I think we need to just make it a little thicker. So we just need to go here and see the orange dots see what i'm doing i'll let go and you can see it makes it thicker you might want to change it although these are pretty thin these are pretty thin and you know that'll just be kind of like a running stitch we could make it a little bit thicker but you can see in general terms that it kind of gives it the same kind of look i think it might need to be thicker and that might make it look a little better And that is how you add accents into your lettering to make proper words in different languages. And there's a quite a few. And check out each font and see what you can find. And it's also, if you don't have it, how you can quickly make it and design it so it matches the lettering. So thanks everyone for watching.